diamonds, emeralds, sapphire, ruby. Could have been my little baby, but little mama don't sue me. All right, what is up, guys? I have the Royal Kludge keyboard, the RK61, 60% uh, keyboard. Uh, this comes with the Gatoron brown switches, which have a light tactile click and minimal noise. I've always wanted to try the brown switches. I thought I'd try the MX Cherry Browns first, but looking like the Gatoron Browns were the way to go. So hopefully that rings true. Um, as you can see, I've got my isopropyl alcohol, 70%, and my paper towel. I have that just because I always, regardless of the packaging, I know it's probably coming straight from a warehouse with minimal contact, and it also came inside another box. Um, but I'm just gonna go down. I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe down every single. Uh, keycap uh, disinfect and also wipe down the base of the board uh, I just tend to be careful with this stuff especially with this pandemic going on so you don't have to do that of course but I'm going to take the time and stop and do that so but I will have the unboxing uh, nevertheless so we're back on with the unboxing luckily it doesn't look like there's much in here here's the tab keyboard it's wrapped uh, looks like it's got some kind of I don't know if you can see that dirt on the packaging which is why I also mentioned that I like to disinfect my keyboard so put that to the side get back to that in a second uh, let me see something. it's a manual right here and uh, yeah, multiple languages of course my primary language is gonna be English wait also what is this Oh, okay, it's telling about the function. Function plus backspace equals delete. Okay, so we'll get all we'll get into that later once I, well, I'll get into it later. I, it won't be on camera, of course. Uh, so underneath, we've got the. Oh wow, this is a Type C USB cord. I didn't even know this came with this. Uh, supposedly, I had ordered the wireless version of this keyboard, so. The Bluetooth version so I didn't know that this in fact came with a USB-C it didn't specify it on the Amazon page it just said wireless so and uh, tucked away right next to it we have the key puller although I already have one of these uh, it doesn't hurt to have another so we'll put this stuff back to the side the manual the type C cable and we'll get right into the keyboard now I did go if you do know anything about this keyboard, I've seen most people get the white version of it. I decided to go with the black version. Since you can see, my setup is mostly black, so I'm not really into the whole white peripherals thing, but you know. So, uh, actually, let's, let's take a look at this. Taking off one of the keycaps. I don't know if you can see that. That's the brown Gatoron switch. I do feel that tactile click right away, but it's still pretty smooth. Um, so you know what? This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and disinfect each and every one of these keys as well as the keyboard itself. Uh, and I'm gonna get this thing installed and I'm gonna come back to the end of this with a typing test and a sound test. So I'll catch you guys in a moment. All right, so the keycaps for this board are double shot ABS so unlike the PBT keycaps they are gonna uh, develop a shine over time uh, these are also not Gatoron brown switches as I said earlier these are their own switch RK61s however they are a Cherry MX brown or Gatoron brown equivalent in the fact that they have a light tactile bump and a low noise profile so they have 50 million up to 50 million key presses and they actuate at 50 grams of force. This board connects via Bluetooth as well as the Type-C USB. Now, there has been some talk about connecting via Bluetooth and you know, if you're gaming, you don't wanna do that due to the latency. But I'm gonna be honest, I've tried them both and they seem just as responsive in either mode, so. I'm not sure. I, I'm not experiencing anything 
that would cause me to think otherwise. I mean, like I said, if I click and do a key press on Bluetooth, it seems just as responsive on the wired version. So maybe I just don't know what to look for. There might be a slight time difference or slight um, input difference, but like I said, I can't tell. So yeah, the size of the keyboard is 11.5 by four inches. It's 1.7 pounds. The battery is a 1450 milliamp lithium battery. So what they're advertising is 13 hours of uh, power. And that is gonna be on the lowest brightness setting and up to 360 hours worth of power in standby mode. So I have not had this board for 13 hours, let alone 360. So take that with a grain of salt. <laughs> the uh, space bar, when you're charging, the space bar will blink three times if it's still charging, and it will blink five times when it is completed and it's charging. So yeah, the board has 17 lighting effects, and it also has its own software on their official website. But at the time of this recording, I have not been able to find a version of the software that works. So, and I've seen that other people are having this problem, you know, by searching it up on the internet. So if I do find a working version of the software, I will link it in the description below. So yeah, but as of now, we're gonna move into the sound test and the typing test. Okay, so before we move on to the typing test, I'm just going to show some of the lighting effects. I think there are 17, if I remember correctly, yeah, 17, so it's one, it looks like a ripple slash wave. Strobe effect. Looks like a ripple ripple downwards it looks like a sonar actually the way it's going around what do they call this like the rain effect or something like that this is like a strobe slash wave outwards oh this is the rain effect so i don't know what you would consider the last one I don't know what you call this a row by row effect. <laughs> yeah, this looks like a, a ripple as well, kind of. So some of these look like a variation of some of the same ones I've seen. Ah, this is one that lights up during a key press. Okay. And then let's see. Lower the brightness. So that's as bright as it goes. And now, the sound test. Yep, this completes the review of the RK61. One more thing to touch on this board is, let me cut on a light here. Uh, made out of pretty sturdy plastic and it is a board that comes um, raised to an eight degree elevation. So, and it doesn't have an armrest or anything, but so far it's cool. Couple of cons, which is the software not working properly because I want to change it from this static orange-ish type color and uh, do my signature pink color um, but I'm pretty sure I can find the software that works eventually um, it doesn't have a dedicated volume um, key so you got to move your volume up and down through the actual computer I mean it's not the end of the world so 
yeah it's a review of the rk61 royal clutch 61 with the round switches and i'm gone catch you in the next one kim squad